So number one is start. It's going, it's going. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, stop. <laughs> this is awesome. Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Stixman and welcome back to Stormworks Career Mode. Today we have plans, in fact we've got two plans because first of all we are going to build a boat entirely from scratch and then we are going to go over to a new base and we are going to use that base to set up a brand new cargo or freight transport career thingy. <laughs> so basically we're choosing a base which will come with those big containers you can get and transfer to other places around the map and earn money for it. So that is our plan. I know that we can afford it already because I've done a bit of research on the pricing of different areas and things. Um, but first of all, I thought, you know, we've got to get over there somehow. And just taking the big boat the whole time could be quite expensive if it breaks down, if it sinks. And so I thought, why not make something really, really cheap? Uh, cheap to run, cheap to build, you know, kind of disposable if we do happen to lose it, which we probably won't, but you know. So what I've decided to do, and I'm very excited about this, I'm going to make a mini version of the Wolverine. Now, if you have just tuned in in this episode, you're completely new. You may not know what the Wolverine is yet, but I'll just head into the workbench and show you what that is. And here is the current version of the Wolverine, which we're not actually going to use today. Well, we will use it for reference when we're building the mini version of it, but actually I have upgraded did this thing we've now got um i think it's double the power so here it is then the new power unit for the wolverine it is now made up of four medium engines and i did some testing against you know the big diesel engine just one of those and then four of these medium ones and this turns out to be much better but enough of that because we're not focusing on this today so let's head back out there and we're going to start fresh on a brand new clean slate here we go then, a brand new boat starting from scratch. And uh, first of all, I'll put symmetry mode on. That's a very important step to do straight away. We do have $105,546. That's really, really good. We don't need anywhere near that much for today, even when we've bought the base as well. So there's nothing to worry about financially. But first of all, well, I'm thinking, you know, what are the key features of this boat going to be? Well, because it's going to be so small and it really is going to be very small, quite a tiny creation, really. I think the most important things to put down first will be the engine and the seat, really, because, you know, that is going to take up like 50% of the entire boat. Um, so let's go and put an engine down straight away. And, um, and I think I'll just, you know, I'll just chuck it probably this way because... The back of the boat is over in this direction, so that is where the propeller will connect to, just here. And underneath we have the cooling, so you can literally, right, just get uh, a couple of fluid ports here. And if you just connect them up straight away, that's it. The cooling is now done already. There's no other work to do, there's no pumps, it's going to be very, very simple this. Uh, it really is. And that is actually the underside of the boat. This is the hull, the bottom of the hull here. Okay, so everything else can sort of connect onto that. Now, let's go to the power next because, well, first of all, I am going to want to have a generator just to make sure that our battery can stay charged. So let's get some pipes out first. And I think what I'll do is I'll just get a T-piece here. And, uh, hang on, how do you do this? There we go. <laughs> uh, is that right? Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to get a generator. And I'm going to chuck it just on there. They're quite expensive, these things. They're actually $600 each, look. Um, and they weigh five, so that's not too bad. The weight is fine. But yeah, look at that's expensive. These ones, 2000 for the medium. $12,000 for the large one. That is a lot of money. But anyway, we're choosing the small one. That is more than adequate for what we need today. Now, next, I just want to get an idea of where the propeller is going to be going. And of course, it is going just behind the engine somewhere. So let's grab a pipe and um, stick it sort of down and then towards the stern of the boat. I think that's going to be okay just there. But as you can see, we now know where the underside of the boat is going to be. So the next pipe will have to be an enclosed one. So it's actually going to be watertight. And so let's grab an enclosed straight... Oh no, an angle here. Uh, let's put that straight down there, pointing towards the stern. There we go. And then of course it's going to go this way. So we'll get some more enclosed straight pieces. Just bring it back a bit. I'm not exactly sure like how big 
the boat's going to be yet, so I might have to add or delete a few of these at some point. But let's just say that for now, that is where the propeller is going to go, um, and we'll find out afterwards, all right? So I'll get the propeller, and we're going to use a small one because obviously we need everything to be pretty small here. That's probably going to change, actually. In fact, I reckon that's a bit too long. I don't know. I'll have to just uh, see as we continue building. But there we go. That's a good start, right? That's a very good start. Next, um, well, we do need a fuel tank, of course. Let's just see what we've got here. There are three more outlets to connect up. We have air. We have exhaust on the left and fuel on the right. Okay, now I reckon a good place for that fuel tank is probably here. So let's just grab a... Uh, let's use a medium tank. How big's the large one? It's a bit too big, actually. Use the medium. That's probably fine. And I'll connect it up from underneath, so we'll just chuck that down there, look. So my idea is that we can send a pipe sort of into the centre of the engine through this gap and straight into the tank. So it's going to be so simple and easy to do. And I will turn symmetry mode off because we're now working um, differently on each side. So let's go and grab a pipe again. It has to be an enclosed one. Um, because again, we are literally making the hull of the boat at the same time as the engine components here. And then we'll just switch that around the corner. That should be all good. We'll have a straight piece as well. Just like that. And then another enclosed angle there. So already we've got power, we've got cooling and we've got fuel. How easy is that? Now, just before we carry on with the engine, where is the seat going to go? Now, I know for a fact that you can actually put things on the fuel tank here. And so let's try it just for now. Oh, there's a seat, actually. I can use that one. Um, let's just try it again. I might have to move things as we go, but that looks to be quite good, actually. And uh, now we've seen where the seat is. I wonder if we can put the, uh, the exhaust on, for example, or the air. Okay, so let's have a look at our exhaust then, and here it is. Now, again, I'll need a an angle here, I think, and we'll just turn that round. Then a couple of straight pieces. What I'm going to do is, if you remember, the original Wolverine had three exhausts on the back, right in the centre. Um, I'm going to use one for this, but in the same kind of position. So that's just going to go sort of here on this level but of course towards the stern of the boat. So let's just bring it along here a bit and then we're going to angle it up and sort of bring it in. Now actually, because we're inside the boat, I'm going to use normal pipes. I'm not sure if that increases buoyancy by using these instead of the enclosed ones because I guess they're a one by one by one sort of uh, size, aren't they? But they do have more space around them, so I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll just... Uh, oh. <laughs> No, we'll get it right eventually. Now we probably want to come a bit higher so it keeps out of the water. So I'll just grab another angle here and we'll whip that round there. That's pretty good actually. And I suppose it's going to be sort of in line with the propeller. Okay, so let's just put that there and then we'll take an exhaust, uh, just an ordinary sort of fluid exhaust there. Now that will of course need an enclosed pipe somewhere just so it stays watertight. We don't let water, you know, around the sides of the exhaust and into the hull. So actually, let's see if we can change that right now. I just get a block here and that might not be the correct position for it, but we'll just put it there for now and see what happens. Okay, now everything is connected apart from the air, I believe. If we just come around here, there it is. Um, that's the air. Now, where is that going to go? And also, I am going to start to colour my blocks here, just so I know which one's which, because it can get a bit confusing with all these different, uh, you know, enclosed things around here. So, I'm going to use blue for the air. And if I bring it out a bit this way, and I'm going to want it maybe behind the seat somewhere, like here, maybe sort of around here. So if I just grab another angle here, it's quite hard to see with that colour actually, but we'll, we'll make do with that for now. Um, and again, we are now building the underside of the boat while doing this. So I think that would be quite good. I'll just bring a pipe here. Then, yeah, I guess we'll just angle it round. Um, and hopefully that'll be okay. We're just going to use a fluid port because it's so simple and easy to do. Just like that. And there we go. The whole engine is now connected. It's got fuel, air, cooling, power and exhaust. 
um, and we've got the seat on. So now I guess we can start to actually build the the actual boat around it. Um, and we've got the general shape. I think that's fine. The center of mass is pretty much bang in the middle, which is again another important feature, especially on such a tiny boat. You've got to be quite accurate with that center of mass because a, a slight change can make a big difference on smaller creations. Actually, I just had a thought. We do need to refuel this thing, don't we? So here is our fuel pipe, right? And I'm not going to set it up totally yet because we don't know what the exterior of the boat is going to be exactly like. But if I just put a T piece here, then we'll actually get a good idea. Where is it? I think that's the one there. And we'll just get a good idea of where that pipe needs to go. So I guess we're going to be refueling the boat from somewhere at the bow or at the front of the boat. And we'll just, whenever the, the bow has actually been built, we'll then route this pipe forwards and probably up onto the deck and somehow, um, you know, just make a, a fluid anchor or something like that. But now that's done, I reckon it's time to start building the actual hull, the actual shell of the boat itself. So let's get to it. Now, without knowing exactly what we're doing yet, I'll just, I think, now if I just get a colour as well, I'm actually going to use yellow for now. I am going to paint it, it's probably not going to be yellow eventually, but just to see where we're placing these new blocks and so we can differentiate them from, you know, the pipe work and things, um, just to make it a bit easier to keep track of what we're doing. But of course, this is the underside of the boat, so we're going to now bring this along a bit and I guess we'll just make it one wider. Uh, probably. <laughs> we'll have to see how that works. And then we can probably bring it up a bit like this. I think I'm going to start with the seat as well because this way, if we need a couple of dials on here, we can figure out where they're going to go straight away and then not sort of get confused with everything else. Now if we go over to the actual Wolverine again, we can see there are two interiors here. Um, and this is where my seat currently is on the mini one. So it's probably going to sort of be sticking our head out the top sort of thing. And I'm going to make this shape here. Um, and I'm going to make this separately. I guess the engine is kind of here, isn't it? Just under the, under the decking here. Um, that might even be kind of exposed a bit or at least, you know, somewhat near the top of the deck. So with that in mind, let's now head back into the mini Wolverine and just see if we can generate these couple of shapes here. And also it slopes down to the back. There's the exhaust where we're going to have a single exhaust. So it kind of is straight here and then it sweeps up and then it's straight at the top again. All right, with that in mind, let's head back and see if we can recreate the shape. I think if I just, I'm going to put a couple of dials down here. Um, they might just be temporary. But because I'm not going to want a really complicated setup, it's going to be so simple, guys. But I think that would be a good starting point because then we can work from there and try and just where is this slope going to go? That's the question. That is a good question, isn't it? I don't quite know yet. If I just put these here, let's try this. I think I'll use a two by one. Um, is that right? No, I don't. I don't know about that. Okay, let's try that, and then I think we'll try and move it down from here and all it's going to need really is i could add two of those i think that's too long actually i think that's too long let's use a one by one wedge thing okay there we go there's the front if you can see that sort of forming there we'll just put a block here whoops um and don't worry i am going to be reducing a lot of the weight when it's finished of course we just want to get the general shape and size done first and then we can start deleting and changing and all the rest of it um, so that is pretty good actually, isn't it, I think? That's really the front there. I think that's quite good to start off with. Now, how are we going to get down? Here is the deck, right? And on the big Wolverine here, it sort of, it sweeps down, but then it's also got a flat piece at the front. So we'll see if we can include that somehow and then make the point of the bow as well. So let's grab some of these here. There we go. That's better. It should really start to take shape as we continue. It looks a bit weird at the moment, but don't worry. It will look good in the end. It will probably be quite adorable, actually, because <laughs> it's so small. But here we go. There's the flat part, right? This is the actual um, the flat part at the front. And then we're going to come out a bit. Let's see. That's going to be filled in isn't it just like that so we can actually have our fuel connector somewhere around here i won't put it in there yet but we could have it here for example or we could have it here we'll just have to see how that goes um okay but now we want to start making the tip of the boat so let's do that and hmm i wonder if that's it really is that enough i think that might be enough just oh just there 
There we go. So let's say that's the bow. Uh, that's okay. I'm quite pleased with that. If that is the bow, then let's just get a wedge and bring it down as a slope this way. And where does that connect to? Oh, it doesn't quite. Oh, no, actually, that's really good because we've got our keel, haven't we? So it comes down one lower here um, as it is. But yeah, we do need a keel. Okay, now I'm going to put the keel in green for now, just so we can, you know, differentiate it, as I say earlier, just so we remember what's what. Let's put the keel on, and that's fine, isn't it? And then we just sort of fill in the gaps here. So there will be a bit of weight saving to be done. Um, but, yeah, let's grab one of these things now. If I put it back into yellow. And let's see if we can just... That's fine there, and we'll just do another one there. Okay, okay, that's not bad, is it? I quite like that actually. It does, it does look a bit like the uh, the original Wolverine, doesn't it? So far, it's getting there, and it's not even painted yet. Um, now these things, we're going to convert them into, I guess, yeah, into wedges like this. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I always find that sometimes I just can't quite select things. It's really weird, but here we go. Chuck those on there. Um, ah, oh, how's this going to work now? Maybe. I mean, I could have wedges here, but the problem is, right, we've got fluid ports, one for the, the intake and the exhaust of the cooling. So I'll leave that flat for now. And I think I'll just get rid of that. That's probably fine, isn't it? Now, these things down here, I'm going to make them weight blocks. Uh, for now, I'll just chuck down a line of them, okay? We're not going to want probably the whole line to be weight blocks because that'll be really heavy. Um, but if we just make a line for now, and also that's going to change the center of mass quite dramatically there. Um, as you can see, it brought it quite a bit lower. If you just watch the pink box, I delete them. Look at that. It changes position quite a bit there. But we'll leave them for now. If it sinks, then we can, uh, you know, take some off. Um, and, you know, we'll just see how that goes. We'll have to float it first, really, before we know exactly what we're doing with these. So the front is pretty much done, actually. I'm really, I love that. I think that's really cool. Just while we're here, let's try and put in a fluid anchor and perhaps maybe a rope anchor as well so we can tow this thing if it does get destroyed and we manage to save it somehow. If I just get a, if I go to the anchor section, right. Fluid hose anchor. Okay, we'll just stick that up there. And that's as easy as that. It really is quite simple. Uh, we'll put a rope on this. It's not going to, this boat's not going to be full of gadgets, but of course we'll add some gadgets and we'll little just extra bits and pieces if we can. I don't know if I'm going to have any tools on it. I might do, um, but that's not really so important. This boat is only to get from A to B, you know, uh, and it's probably going to be quite fuel efficient as well. I don't know how far it's going to go. But it's going to be a, a small, it's going to be nippy, and it's going to be useful. <laughs> so let's see if we can connect up the fluid hose. If we go inside the hull here, uh, that's where, okay, that's where the pipe is. And I think, ah, oh no, that's interesting. Okay, that's fine. Let's grab some pipe work then. And see if we can just bring it along. How far do we want to go? Maybe I'll bring it down next, like there. Get an angle piece. Uh, it's a bit of guesswork, <laughs> but we'll figure it out somehow. There we go. That's easy. Look at that. That is so easy. Now we can refuel the boat already. This is going very well so far. I'm, I'm super happy. And, you know, when it's painted, it's going to look even better, I'm sure. Now, let's move to the stern there. We've got most of this set up, I think. Oh, look at this. Now, we will sink if we don't plug these holes a bit. So let's just put that there. I'm hoping the fuel tank is going to be watertight. I'm not sure if it is, but we'll find out. Yeah, we'll just have to test it. I'm thinking it might not be, but if it isn't, we can change it. I think it's, it will just go with that for now and see what happens. Okay, next, we're gonna look at the stern of the boat. Um, okay, now if you remember, it sort of comes up, I don't know, like here, um, because we want this air intake to be exposed. It's the same height as the front as the bow here as well so that is the top of it i guess and then let's just chuck down some of these for now okay that's kind of all right isn't it it is actually going back a bit too far so let's grab the eraser tool and just get rid of that uh, and perhaps these 
as well because oh, I'm not sure actually. Um, yeah, we'll leave them in for now. I might actually get rid of these two wedges here. We are going to fill in the gaps eventually just so it doesn't sink, obviously. But we'll leave that there. Um, and it goes flat at the end, doesn't it? So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Maybe it'll be something, oh, <laughs> something like that. Maybe. Oh, I don't know, actually. We'll have to see. Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to put a one by one wedge here and then move the exhaust back a bit. Yeah, I think I am. So if I just grab the select tool and we'll quickly move that one back, I reckon that's going to be better. And it might not be, <laughs> but we'll we'll, uh, we'll find out. So I'm going to get a, a pipe, a straight pipe here uh, in white just for now. And then we'll merge it all together. And that because basically on the other Wolverine, the pipes actually stick out a bit on the back. So I think that's pretty good, actually. And then what happens if we go over to the original Wolverine again, you can see that, yes, there's the pipes that are sticking out. And then it kind of slopes back in a bit here. It tapers in towards the uh, the hull and the underside of the boat. So we'll try and use some wedges there as well and just taper it back in if we can. So we'll grab a two by one wedge here. Otherwise the slope might be a bit too aggressive. Oh, that was correct. And then we'll just bring it back like that. Oh no, maybe, well, obviously not that far. Maybe that far, actually. That's pretty good. I, yeah, I think that's pretty good, actually. Um, at least for now, right? Now, let's just fill in the gaps here a bit before we go any further. Because then we can get a good idea of, of what's going on, basically. We'll just do that. Oh, look at that. That is really, really coming along nicely. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the Wolverine claws on. I might do. Um... But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. It might upset the boat a bit because because <laughs> it's so small. I don't want to uh, to start flipping it over and things. What I am thinking of doing actually is bringing out just a, a kind of line here, um, a bit like that. Yeah, I think so. I think that makes it look a lot better um, and also a bit more seaworthy <laughs> to have some kind of uh, protective barrier around the side of this thing. I guess what we can do as well is actually put some wedges here and then perhaps we can delete some of them inside the hull of course to get a bit more buoyancy and make the boat lighter so although we're adding blocks here we can take some away inside maybe um here is the uh, well that's the stern isn't it just there so i guess that could be flat there Bring this across as well. Oh my goodness, this is quite scary now because <laughs> we're nearing completion, really, aren't we? Um, okay, it can always be undone. It can always be undone. But I think that's really good. It's a good height for the propeller. Again, it is going to require testing before we know if the exhaust is going to go under the water or anything like that. We'll have to spawn it in and just test it to see. But it looks good so far. I will actually, if I just get... I'll delete one of those and put a wedge here just to smooth it off a bit I think or maybe we can get a two by two by one wedge there we go that looks a bit better doesn't it just to round it off up here what are we gonna do here that's the question isn't it well okay first of all get some of these wedges because you know we just want to cover it up really look at that that's brilliant that is brilliant we're just trying to seal it off so that we don't sink at the moment Okay, and then, yeah, we'll do this as well. We could put lights on the back of here, of course, or uh, some kind of tow hook thing. We'll just see how that goes. But there's lots of space, isn't there, for that kind of stuff if we need it. Now, I think we need to round this off a bit. It's going to look way better if we just round off the back. So let's turn these into pyramid blocks of some sort. No, not that one. Um, <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. Like, try this, for example. Okay, so let's go and find a pyramid. Maybe two by one. I'm not sure if it's going to work this. We'll just have to try it and see. Uh, it looks way better, doesn't it? But what about these wedges here? Okay, let's move those in a bit. Let's move those in. If we just delete these and we'll put these down here. Oh, that's looking good. It's looking real good now. We are. Yes, look at that. That's much better. Much more sort of similar to the original Wolverine, but being very small at the same time. Um, what are we going to do here? Maybe. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Do we want those? I don't think so. 
No, wedges. We use wedges here. I can grab those there. Let's do that. And then perhaps we'll just use one of these, a couple of these things as well. And again, we can turn these into little, um, you know, tool holders, equipment holders, or, you know, lights or anchors or whatever we need. Um, that's why it's, it is good to have a few extra just ordinary blocks around the place just in case you want to change them in the future. Um, but now I think the only place left to sort of end oh dear, apart from this, um, there we go. <laughs> um, the only thing left to do to seal up the interior of the boat is now this part. Um, it might, is that going to look too chunky? It does a bit, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> it looks like a really big boot. <laughs> uh, if, if you just put those on top. Oh, what can we do here then? Just to, oh, that's really annoying, isn't it? Unless we use wedges or something. I still, I don't think that's going to be... It's better about the two by ones. Uh, like that. Is that going to... Again, it's better. Oh, actually, no, wait a minute. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Windows. Is that going to seal, though? And again, we don't even know if the fuel tank's going to seal yet. It's three by three. Okay, let's just... Hang on a minute. Is this going to work? I know that windows are watertight. Oh my goodness, that's actually perfect. Wait, if it works. See, under the seat is the fuel tank. That is the problem. Now, if that works, everything will be perfect. If it doesn't work, we'll have to change a few things. Let's go and spawn it in then. And how much is this going to cost us? Oh, that's amazing. It's under $2,000 so far. And actually, I reckon we can make it a bit cheaper just by deleting unnecessary blocks inside. But yeah, let's spawn it in. First of all, see if it sinks, if it's got any holes in it, and then we'll work from there. Here we go then. Moment of truth. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's a bit choppy, isn't it? <laughs> it works. No way. That is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's adorable. That is actually amazing. And it's not sinking at all. It's not letting in any water. Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to use this. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's probably going to be quite quick as well because it's such a small uh, small boat. All right, let's take it back in. I just noticed a bit of a hole here or a gap somewhere. So we'll get one of these pyramid pieces and just fill that in. There we go. And we will paint it soon. But just before we do that, I reckon we should go inside now and just see if we can make as much space, as much buoyancy as possible. Um, and then, yes, of course, we're going to have to start changing the keel here and the weight just to make sure it's balanced, not only when it's at a standstill, but also under power as well. So uh, let's head in here. What can we actually do to save weight? Basically, what I normally do is just delete stuff and see if it causes problems like there. That's going to cause problems. So I'll have to put that back or we can change it to a wedge. Half the price, half the weight, half the size, more buoyancy. Uh, that's part of the pipe work. So is that. Well, no, that's just uh, sealing up the side here. There we go. So we'll, we'll change those into wedges as well. Half the weight, increase the buoyancy. What's this? Okay, now they're all... Ah, that's good. This is going to be very good. Uh, we'll leave that one there. We're going to turn all of these into wedges down here. Oh, that's pipe there. Okay, we're going to have to be really careful. See, I've just deleted that. We are going to have to be super careful here. Whoops. Um, yeah, this could be a bit of a problem if we get this wrong. <laughs> okay, we'll put those as uh, wedges just up to there. And that alone will increase the buoyancy by quite a lot, actually. But I'm sure there's a lot more we can do. Uh, yeah, that's good. So these things here are unnecessary completely because they are probably in line with this sort of border here, right? I guess. Yeah, I think so. So now let's just delete those all the way back. I don't think any of them are pipes. Um, right, here is an issue. Is that going to cause flooding? No, I don't think so. It shouldn't do, actually. And I do have symmetry mode on, so we are doing the same on both sides here. That is good. Just before I carry on, let's spawn it in and make sure I haven't made this thing sink. Otherwise, it could be an issue. There we go. Oh, it's fine. Look at that. But it should be even cheaper now. <laughs> Quite a bit cheaper, actually. Already? Oh, that's so good. It's nicely above the water. And it's going to be even better when we take off a bit of weight from the keel. Let's just sit on it. 
Oh, it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, let's take it in. How much more weight can we save towards the back here at the stern? Well, what are these things? Let's see if we can... Do we need the... Oh, we don't need these either. That's incredible. Okay, this is going to be a massive improvement here. Uh, oh, no, that's all right, because that's the window. So we can see the sky from there, but it's glass. It is all watertight. What else can we do to uh, to save a bit of weight and increase the buoyancy? We can't change those. We're not changing any of these things. Although we could, uh, we could actually make those wedges, to be honest, here. That might not be necessary, though. On, let's just find out. What have we got back here? That, uh, oh, no, okay, so we can put these into wedges. Let's, oh no, not that one. <laughs> That's got a different shape to it. Let's take all of these out along here. And which ones are we deleting? These, okay. That's fine. Um, I'll have to leave those, I believe. Just because. Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. But we'll get, we'll get these on. <laughs> we'll turn these into wedges anyway. That should be all right. Look at that. And from the exterior, you wouldn't know any different at all. But we just have to keep testing it to make sure that nothing sinks. Um, again here, right, let's see if we can maybe just smooth the edges a bit. Yeah, I I think, I think if we just get rid of these, right, and try and use some pyramids here. Uh, no, we'll just get rid of that thing as well. There we are. Like that. Is that going to work? Yes, it will, actually. If we just change these as well. And that. Okay, we we'll use wedges here. Oh, yes. Look at that. Much better. And then a wedge here. Just to round it off. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's it's almost there. I mean, really, like, it's very quick, isn't it, to get a build sort of 80% done. Then the last 20% often takes a bit long, quite a lot longer, actually, depending on what you're doing. But, um, yeah, this is going very well. It will actually work now. I reckon we could take it for a spin once we've connected it all up. We do have to add a battery as well. That is a good point, isn't it? Batteries are going to be essential here. But just before we do that, is there anything else we can do to save it away? Look at that. There's a bit more here we can do. Uh, not that one, though. What are that? Okay, we can delete those ones. What's this? Uh, not that one. Uh, delete those. And uh, not those. We could change that into a wedge. Actually, I might do that. I might do that. I mean, it's, it's probably not that essential, but it will help a bit. Yeah, apart from that, I reckon that's pretty much good right there there's always more that we can do but you know as long as it works just how we need it to that is fine in my book we'll just paint that as well so it looks a bit better okay now we will use the main color scheme from the other wolverine the big one that i've made but i think first of all let's put a battery in because that's really really essential we're going to use a small one because the medium one i reckon it's just too big for one thing also they're quite heavy uh, in a small boat so if we just have a look here batteries yeah look, that's just it weighs 60 which on a boat of this size could change a lot <laughs> so let's use the small one which weighs 10 i've got an idea actually why don't we replace two of these weight blocks with one battery so each one of these weighs 10 uh the battery one battery weighs 10 so if we delete two of them now, where is the center of mass? Pretty much right in the center. That's very well positioned at the moment. I'm actually going to put it slightly ahead of the center of the boat. So I reckon, let's see here. Let's try that just for now. See how that goes. And if you have a look under the battery there, it is watertight because it actually has the same surface as any standard block. So it will be watertight, actually. Is that going to go there? No, okay. We can do it. So what I'm going to do is change that into an enclosed pipe, just so that we can place stuff on the pipe. Uh, like this. Like that, there we go. And it is watertight now. Um, yeah, okay. Where's the centre of mass? It's pretty much the same, isn't it? Again, we're only changing the mass by 10 here. 
Also, it's probably way too heavy with all these blocks. So let's spawn it in and just have a look. To see. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was good, isn't it? Brilliant. It's now a submarine, but we're going to take it. Oh, no, I have to. The workbench probably won't pick it up, so I'll go down and press R on it. Where is the hole? It's not here, is it? Or maybe it is. Maybe the battery actually isn't watertight. That's very interesting, isn't it? So let's try and change uh, this pipe into one of these as well. Just in case, it, if it's not that, we'll find it somewhere else, this hole, wherever it is. But let's just go and... No, it's not that. It's something else, isn't it? Where is it? Where's the water coming in? You guys have probably seen it already. I can't I can't swim down. There we go. <laughs> right, where's the water coming in? It was fine before. It was absolutely... Oh, wait a minute. It's not that, is it? It seemed to float before. No. No, it's not that. Ah, oh, look at this. There it is. Right. Now, that's what you've got to be careful of. So... Just a few of these wedges have to be changed back. That is where the problem lies. Okay, so I'm going to do... I reckon it's these five, is it? Oh, no, I deleted the seat there. <laughs> I reckon it's those five. If we just get these back on and just try that. Let's just spawn it in. There we go. Now it's floating again. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, look at that. I'm so pleased with that. It's, re it's really going to be quite fun, this thing. That's what it's all about. It's all about just having a bit of fun. So uh, uh, let's put... No, what about the other way? Let's see if we can put these upside down here. No, not like that. Yeah, I think that might be quite a good way of just rounding it off a bit. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Looks all right for now. Okay, then. So with that being done... I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to connect it up now. So let's go and do the electrics first. Here's the battery. Super simple. You don't even need to connect those things. We'll do the engine and the generator. Um, is that it? Is that all we need? I guess I should put some lights on eventually, right? But uh, could even put this. We could have a light here. That's a perfect place for it. Or, oh, no, we've got a rope anchor already. Let's put... I guess we could just put a spotlight on. Yeah, that'd be alright, wouldn't it? That would be okay. Alright then, we'll do that. Now we'll get uh, get that light connected up as well. Okay, let's go into data. And now I've got no clutch, I've got no gearbox. That is intentional. Um, I think, you know, it's fine. This really is such a simple boat. It's fine for this. Um, so let's put W and S onto the throttle and we'll have A and D. Oh yeah, we need rudders, don't we? We need rudders somewhere. How are we going to do this? Because rudders are quite big. I mean, that is just way too big, right? Well, it, yeah, it is, it's way too big. What about this? That's better. But I don't want two of them because they're so... Like two of these, again, is quite a big surface. What about fins? Hang on. Let's see, the smallest fin is really small. Actually, is that that's going to work there? Look at that. Hang on. It's just, I don't know if it's going to be good enough. But certainly the size is good, right? So, yep, that'll be fine there. Let's just put those on. Oh, look at that. Really cool. That's really, really cool. If it works. But again, we'll have to test it and see. Um, but I am, I'm a, I'm a fan of that so far. Okay, so back to data then. And what else do we need to connect up here? Well, let's have one. Is that, where's number one? There's number one. We're going to use that for the starter. I guess we can have number two for the uh, the spotlight here, actually, at the moment. Um, what else do we need? Fuel. We have two dials. Now, of course, I could actually make an instrument panel for these dials at some point. Uh, just for now, because it's so basic, I'm going to have uh, just that. And then what is the other dial going to be for? Um, oh, I know. Okay. Now, because I'm using W and S for throttle... I reckon we don't, we're not really too bothered about speed. I reckon we could have the throttle input on that dial just so that we can see. Because, of course, uh, if I go into the seat here, W and S, let's not have it on reset. Let's have it on sticky so we can hold W down to get max throttle and just release it and it will stay at max throttle. 
so we'll label that um sensitivity is fine but if we have a dial here we can see how much throttle we've actually got on so we can use w and s to adjust it like that so i think that's a good idea at least <laughs> we'll, we'll try it and see we need to do the steering as well so we'll find a and d wherever that is is that here yep a and d and we'll put them straight into these fins so we have steering and the fins do need power as well so we'll just connect those up there wow is that done is hang on a minute that might actually be done i don't think anything else is left to be connected fuel is done so we can hopefully refuel this thing I mean, let's paint it, right? Because I think, I think it's already done. Okay, let's give it a paint. Now, first of all, the original Wolverine that I made has got orange on the uh, the left-hand side, I think. I'll have to just check that. And it's, it's actually this custom orange here that I made. So we'll just make that orange there. And got a white stripe down the middle. So that's working out quite well so far, isn't it? Okay, and then it's just this really dark grey on the other side. And in fact, the whole rest of the boat oh, is that colour as well. So there we are. That's the front, isn't it? That's pretty good. Now we can use symmetry mode for some of this as well. And potentially I could use bucket mode, actually. Let's use that underneath here. Hang on a minute. There it is. And uh, that's a really handy tool just for painting loads of stuff quickly. It doesn't always work with symmetry actually, the bucket mode and uh, some of these like replace colour tool. It doesn't always work with symmetry but it always works uh, in general so <laughs> we'll stick with that for now. If I click that, oh no it has kept the orange, that's good, that's quite smart. I'm quite impressed by that. Let's carry on here. and get... See that didn't work with symmetry, that bit there these bits in here for certain components like these you have to use the main brush tool for that just I don't know why um, then we've got these bits behind the battery as well we'll just get those I might actually make the fins orange yeah that's pretty cool isn't it just for a bit of difference and it kind of ties in with the red propeller a bit as well we can't change the color of that propeller unfortunately um, what about the exhaust we could have that orange I suppose Maybe white, orange or white. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, let's do let's do orange for now. Do orange. We'll make the window black as well, or dark grey at least, that sort of fits in there. These components as well, and the light. Now the light, right? We are going to use the additive and make it white, just because it's brightest. If it's white. We need that to see. <laughs> Otherwise, we might run into rocks and things. Now I think we better head inside because the whole exterior is done. But because we've got glass here, you can see the yellow. So we'll have to just head through here um, and paint a lot of this dark as well. I hope it doesn't sink. <laughs> it shouldn't do. But it's so cheap, right? Look at that. It's okay. It's only just over $2,100 now. Um, and it's basically finished. I mean, there might be a few changes to do, but it's pretty much finished. I might actually leave some of these pipes yellow just so I can see where they are if I have to do any editing to them. As long as we can't see the yellow from the outside, because it'll look a bit out of place otherwise, it should be alright. What I'll do is I'll actually I make it uh, this orange, just so it's in the theme of the boat. Also the fuel tank we can do that with as well. Um, and I guess these pipes here we can do that with. Because we probably might be able to see bits of these things from the window. We might as well just do a bit of decoration <laughs> in here while we're, while we're at it. What else can we do? I think that's, that's it actually. That is it. Oh no, there's a bit of yellow there, look. Uh, little bits, isn't it? That's pretty good. Let's have a look from the outside. Oh, that's much better. Look at that. Okay. Oh, and there's a blue pipe there, which is the air. I guess we could leave that. It kind of looks cool just to have a bit of blue. And you can see the orange as well, so that's nice. Um, what's this here? Is that Oh, there's some white blocks there. Let's get rid of those. 
And that's it, we finished it. Uh, well, we have to test it now, but look at that. I'm so pleased with it. I am so pleased with that. Now, I think it's gonna be a bit too heavy uh, down here. So let's spawn it in, just have a look at the balance, make sure it's not sinking. Great, it's not sinking. Look how small it is, that's incredible, isn't it? Um, also, let me put the lights on, because we really are missing a bit of light here. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Much better. That is absolutely adorable. <laughs> What's that yellow thing I can see down there? Uh, that's weird. What is that? Why can't I see? Oh, it's the inside of that wedge. I've got to get rid of that. I have to get rid of that. Okay, it is time to test it. So let's get the fuel hose and... I'll connect it up now. First of all, uh, reverse. No, we don't want that. We want the pumps on. Uh, I can't hear the. Can't hear that. What's going on with that? <laughs> I've twisted it round a bit. There's a kink in the pipe. Let's take note of how much fuel we've got in there. Twelve one seven five, just to make sure it is actually filling up. Uh, no, don't flip over. Don't flip over. Oh my goodness, it really is quite light, isn't it? There we go. It's filled. Oh look, the dial. The fuel dial's moving. Oh, it's spinning around like crazy because I haven't calibrated it yet. <laughs> but it should be filling up. So let's try and get into the seat here. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yes, we're full of fuel. I'm just going to get out of the boat. Flip it round just by... Uh... Well, actually, I've got to take the hose off first, haven't I? What do I do? Press E, is it? Oh my goodness, this is not going to be easy, is it? <laughs> Okay, got it, got it. Right. Let's spin it round. Just swim into the bow and that should move very easily. Look at that, we can just chuck it round. It's so light. Okay, so number one is start. W for throttle. There we go, the throttle needle's moving. You can see there. W and S is going to move that. I'll just put it up a bit. It's going, it's going. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, stop. <laughs> uh, stop. No. No, please. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right, we're upright. Right, let's be super careful now. Right, I'm going to have to reduce the power. <laughs> a lot. Okay, so let's give it a tiny bit of throttle this time. And I'm just, I'm not going to want to have the uh, the number one button on toggle I think I want it on a push button just so that it doesn't keep starting itself okay let me get back into the workbench then and I'll see if I can uh, fix this issue first of all I'm going to actually uh, calibrate this dial here so it doesn't spin around like crazy uh, let's put fuel in there and the max value I think was 187.5 for the medium tank isn't it 187.5 liters that is um, now the speed, oh no that's not speed, that's throttle, that's fine, let's put it from 0 to 1 um, and just put throttle value in there just so we remember what that is, okay that's good. Next we need to actually reduce the power of this engine quite a lot, but that's okay because it can save a lot of fuel if we do that as well, so let's put that down to like half, 10 RPS, max power, let's try that on... 50% as well just to test it and see how it behaves and the final thing I wanted to do before we test it again is uh, number one we're gonna put that to and we'll just label it engine starter gotta have my capsule E <laughs> there we go also I am just going to get rid of a few of these weight blocks that's quite heavy, really, isn't it? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to shift all of these back, just one. Like that. Have an ordinary block up here. Merge all these together. So having less weight, but it's still kind of targeted at the center of the boat. And then we'll just fill in that gap with ordinary blocks for now. Good, it's not sinking. <laughs> That's the first thing, isn't it? Okay, let me get this fueled up again and we'll see if we can take it for a spin. Here we go then. I'm sort of pointing in the wrong direction. Oh, there we are. That's better. Right, I'm just going to press number one here. The throttle as well, actually. Let's have it on 40. 
There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a bit choppy. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. That's not bad, is it? Right. That's full power. Oh, that's perfect. It's not too slow. Not too fast either. I haven't tried any turning yet. But look, even... Like, it's a good test because we're in the waves as well. So, it is a pretty good test, actually. That's no problem at all, is it? That is really, really good. Uh, no, oh, yeah, now... I guess the dial's not moving down yet on the fuel because when you spawn it in, there'll be fuel in the pipes as well, and it uses that up first before it uses any fuel in the tank. So if we carry on here, we'd probably see that number go down, and when we actually use it later to actually go down to our island, uh, yeah, that's probably going to uh, start reducing. But uh, that's so good. We're turning as well. We'll just try some more left and right turns here. We'll hold down D all the way. Just to make sure we don't capsize or anything like that. Give it a really good test. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, dear. No, uh, okay. Hang on a minute. Right, just take the power off. You see? See? <laughs> I reckon it's so heavy underneath that we're not going to be turning upside down. I reckon it's just going to right itself all the time. I think I just cut the engine. Oh, no, I didn't. We're still going. <laughs> that is incredible. Just test it turning the other way. Yeah, it's so light. And so... And, and the weight is so low down that actually, that's perfect. The propeller's nicely under the water. The exhaust is nicely above the water. We're not sinking. This is pretty much invincible, this thing. It is incredible. And we could even tow it around on trailers or like carry it with a helicopter if we needed to. It's so cool. Right, let's test the spotlight. And it works. Spotlight is perfect. Well, look at that. And we can still add features to it, of course. This is only the beginning. But this is all we need now to get over to our island and actually buy it. So I'm, I can't wait for this. <laughs> I cannot wait to use this. So I'm going to take it back in, just do that final bit of painting, just check things over once more, and then I think we'll go on our way, and I'll explain exactly where we're going and what we're going to buy. Okay, the boat is completely ready to go now. I'm so excited about this, guys. But first of all, let me go over my plan as to what we're going to do next. Okay, so we're on the chart now, and uh, if I just zoom out here, um, there's various places around the map where you can sort of buy, and then they'll come with uh, containers, big freight containers and cargo and things, which you can transport around and uh, basically get paid for it, right? So there's one here, Terminal Spy Cakes, um, which is worth, I think, $40,000, which is not bad. You know, we can really easily afford that. It has a train shed and it has the dock here as well to build big boats and things. There's also uh, Terminal Komodo as well. Again, it's got this uh, sort of freight terminal. That's really, really cool. And then if you go over in this direction, there's another one here, right? which has a train shed. You can also build boats here as well. Now this one is worth uh, $60,000, so quite a lot, but it's still well within our budget. And look how close it is to us. Our base, uh, where we are right now, is just up here. So that is not very far. And um, yeah, so what I've decided to do is buy this island first. Now we might buy more as well, but this is the first one. Okay, and that will come with its own containers. I'm hoping they respawn. If anybody knows, uh, if anybody's tested this, do the containers respawn or do new ones, different ones spawn in after you've transported them already? I'm hoping they do. Um, but yeah, we can build trains here and there will be access to the Arctic, for example, because you can follow this train line all the way over here, go up the fork and then up to the Arctic. Or, of course, you can go down to Donk just down here and Terminal Komodo as well and transport to these areas too. So that is the plan. I'm very excited to do this. I can't wait to use the Mini Wolverine and then get into our new sort of career in transporting freight as well. But because this episode is going to be quite long, I'm actually deciding to split this into two parts, okay? So don't worry, the second part is probably already recorded and made by the time you're watching this. I'm not going to release them at the same time, but they'll be released pretty close together, these two videos. And I just think it's better than releasing an episode which is probably going to be over an hour long at this point. <laughs> It'll just be a bit crazy. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. I can't wait to test out the Mini Wolverine in the next episode. I hope you're looking forward to it as well. It should be a good one, but thank you so much. Much. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.